Greetings everyone, Shane here at the Brick House, back again with another quick announcement. Bricklink has released the five finalists for the Series 2 Designer Series. They're all great sets, but there are two that I'm really excited about, so let's get into it. The first set is the Logging Railway by Ties25. This set is based on a fictional logging company in Oregon, and the 2700 six-piece set will include the train, the wooden trestle bridge, and three minifigures. I like this set, and I think it makes a great display piece. There seems to be a divide among the fan base, as half seem to love the trestle, and the other half hate it. I personally like it and think it's what makes the set so unique. I will definitely get two of these sets to add to my collection, but not look to invest in it. The next set is the Ocean House by Han Waz. This set is from the same designer that brought us the Mountain Windmill. The 2157 piece Ocean House set is part of an original theme created from a story written by the designer. I love this set from when I first saw it in the first Bricklink series. It wasn't selected then, but I'm so happy and super excited to see that it was selected in round two. I think this set looks phenomenal and I will try to purchase as many of these as possible as I think it will become a huge collector's item. The third set is the Mushroom House by Jonas Cram. This 943 piece set consists of a forest of elves that live in a mushroom house. I think it's whimsical and well designed but definitely not for me. I think kids will love it and I have no plans to purchase this set, which means there's more for those who really want it. The next set is The Ominous Isle by Jazz Lacraz. This 2,773 piece set depicts the island stronghold of the great pirate mutton chops. Pirate sets are really popular and I think this set is well designed and looks really great. I think it would go well with the Island Fortress and the Pirates of Barracuda Bay sets. And I plan on purchasing two of these to add to my collection. The final set is The Brick Cross Train Station by Brickster. This 3034 piece set is a modern train station that looks absolutely amazing. This is the second train station theme set in the Bricklink series as the old train shed was selected in the first round. So it's surprising to see another train set module like building. Regardless, I'm glad it was selected as it looks amazing and is definitely the best set of the five in my opinion. It's definitely a set I plan on buying as many as I can get my hand on because I believe it will skyrocket in value. These sets will be made available for crowdsourcing in June of 2024, so you have a while to wait, but this gives you time to save up as these sets are going to be pricey. And remember, you can now purchase two of each set and a max of 20K will be produced. That's my video for today. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.